as you can see guys this is floor beam steel reinforcement details first of all i will discuss size of this beam which is 14 by 12 inches depth is 14 inches width is 12 inches guys you can see clearly so they, uh, they did uh, a common mistake in this floor beam guys you can see clearly they did not provide development length so development length is very important for floor beam to make a good bond between steel and concrete with column so therefore they did a mistake guys you can see clearly on the other side they also did not provide the development length for all beams we don't have development length so this is one of the big mistakes next guys you can see depth of this beam is 14 inches width is 12 inches three steel rods at the bottom three at the top dia is 16 millimeter if you see stirrups dia is 6 millimeter which is not sufficient for this floor beam also guys you can see the spacing which is about 4 to 5 inches to the distance of L by 4 hooks you can see which are provided on 90 degree so guys this is wrong this is not the proper design for stirrups hooks should be provided on 135 degree hooks length should not be less than 3 inches so length is okay but they did not bend with 135 degree guys this is not the proper design of floor beam that's why because as we discussed in many videos the bottom portion in this beam or for any type of beam the bottom portion is tension zone and upper portion is compression zone so steel is strong uh, sorry concrete is strong in compression but it's weak in tension so therefore in tension zone we will provide maximum steel rods compared to its top unfortunately they provided three at the bottom three at the top if they provide four at the bottom it will be okay according to this structure load and two steel rods at the top is sufficient for this beam as you can see but they did the same design for upper portion as well as for lower portion actually guys they don't have a side supervisor therefore they did a lot of mistakes in this beam as you can see also in the slab there is uh, some common mistakes so i will discuss in next video because this video is especially for floor beam as you can see to the distance of l by 4 they provided two sidebars which is very important to resist negative bending moment also as you can see to the distance of l by 4 they provided two sidebars on the top of this also they should provide extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment to the distance of l by 4 but they did not provide as you can see clearly this is the junction between beam and column on the other hand you can see this is chajja continuous slab which length is about four feet guys you can see the stirrup spacing is from four to five inches so it's okay but die of stirrup is not sufficient guys you can see here they should provide development length because this is the end of the beam on the top of this beam they should provide extra steel rods to the distance of l by four but unfortunately they did not provide they just provided here singly mesh they will not provide the double mesh on the top of this spacing is six by six inches for main bars distribution bars dia is 12 millimeter as you can see this is continuous slab which length is four feet they provided main bars on the top of this they will provide distribution bars then spacing will be six by six inches hope this video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video